After denting his Arab-American voter base over his financial, military, and diplomatic backing of Israel's war on Gaza, United States President Joe Biden is heading into the 2024 elections with concerning numbers among Hispanic or Latino voters. A new USA Today and Suffolk University survey shows that Biden is trailing Donald Trump. The poll shows that Republican Trump was ahead with 39% support among Latino voters surveyed, compared with Biden's 34% signaling a slump since 2020, when Biden garnered 65% of the approval from Latino voters. The numbers, although don't indicate a huge difference, they do highlight a broader trend of decreasing support for Biden among various key demographic groups, including young voters ahead of the crucial polls. Trump is leading among young voters under 35 with 37% support over Biden's 33%, a stark drop from Biden's 24-point lead among the voting group in 2020. What does this mean for the Democratic Party? Where is Biden going wrong? Like Arab Americans in key swing states, Hispanics form a key swath of the Democratic base, and Biden is struggling to even match his 2020 numbers. 20% of Hispanic and Black voters surveyed said they would support someone other than Trump or Biden, while 21% of younger voters indicated the same outcome. In December, a CNBC All-America economic survey also revealed a significant shift in support among Latino voters. In a hypothetical head-to-head -head matchup, Trump now holds a five-point lead with Latino voters, erasing Biden's previous seven-point lead in October. The survey, conducted between 8 and 12 December, suggests a decline in Biden's overall performance among Latino voters, with his approval dropping from 35% in October to 28% in December. However, the problem is not just limited to Biden. Hispanic leaders from his party are also facing the same issue. The decline in support among Latinos is being seen as a canary in the coal mine for Democrats, signaling potential challenges in retaining a key part of the electoral coalition that built Biden's election victory in 2020. Commenting on the phenomenon, Domingo Garcia, who is the national president of the League of United Latin American Citizens, told Semaphore that it's a matador red flag flying out there, that Hispanic vote is totally up for grabs, Trump's cutting the margins, and in battleground states like Arizona, Nevada, Wisconsin, that can be a big difference. Historical data shows that Trump tends to perform better with Latino voters during economic stress, as per a report by The Guardian. A Semaphore article based on conversations with leaders of Hispanic groups and political consultants in both parties says that Biden's challenges when it comes to Hispanic voters are not different to his problems with the broader electorate. These challenges include dissatisfaction over inflation, concerns about record high border crossings, and lack of excitement over his policy accomplishments as per the Semaphore article. For the Latino community, the economy has been a top issue in almost every election. Almost 60 million Latinos live in the United States, making up approximately 18% of the population. Latinos continue to face economic challenges. They experience higher rates of unemployment than the population as a whole. Their median household income is only roughly three quarters that of whites as per a Joint Economic Committee report on the economic state of the Latino community in the U.S. One saving grace that is emerging for Biden is Trump's anti-immigrant rhetoric. Trump has listed some of the steps he intends to take to widen his administration's strict immigration policies, including shifting massive portions of federal law enforcement to immigration enforcement and moving thousands of troops currently stationed overseas to our own southern border. Trump also said he would reinstate and expand travel bans he first imposed in 2017 towards several Muslim majority in African countries. Another Trump administration would also include rounding up undocumented immigrants already in the U.S. and placing them in detention camps to await deportation. And this is not something the Latino community would be too excited about. Now it depends on Biden if he can use this to his advantage. Biden faces a Republican party which has worked harder in recent years to recruit Hispanic candidates, and a rival candidate in Trump, who was trying to woo young Latino voters by courting them through non-traditional media. And while Trump has struggled with Hispanic voters overall, he made significant strides between 2016 and 2020. However, Biden's struggles with Hispanic voters don't automatically mean Trump will get their support. 
Meanwhile, President Biden is planning on making more direct appeals to Hispanic voters in 2024 by visiting minority communities as the election heats up, Axios recently reported. Team Biden has reportedly launched multiple ads, earlier than ever, over the past few months targeting Latino voters, and have already begun programs focused on key voting groups in battleground states. Disgruntled with Biden's steadfast backing of Israel's war on Gaza, many Muslim Americans have already pledged to rally their communities against Biden in next year's polls under the hashtag AbandonBiden campaign. The hashtag AbandonBiden campaign began when Minnesota Muslim Americans demanded Biden call for a ceasefire by October 31st and has now spread to Michigan, Arizona, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Florida. This movement has deepened the broader crisis that Biden is facing in the run-up to the 2024 polls. All over social media, people are pledging to not support Biden in 2024. In a new poll of Arab Americans, only 17% said they would support Biden in 2024, down from 59% in 2020, a staggering 42% drop. Parallelly, a movement in support of Palestinians has erupted in college campuses and streets across the U.S. condemning Biden's staunch support to Israel's land, sea, and air attack campaign on Gaza. This movement has named Biden Genocide Joe for what it calls his complicity in the crimes of Israel. With elections inching closer, Biden has his work cut out to convince his voter base, which seems to be drifting away from him, to once again back the veteran politician as the next U.S. president. <laughs>